I was watching a video on YouTube and it was talking about a guy who was aiming to break the marathon world record. So it was going to be a sub two hour marathon. And so I was watching this and it had mentioned something like it's, it's been about 50 years since someone's broken this record. And it kind of talked about how when it had only every time the record was broken, it was only just by a little bit and a little bit and a little bit. And so it kind of made me wonder about, you know, how much potential these, pe these people probably left on the table since they were aiming for just the specific time and not aiming to just do the best marathon that they possibly could. And so I found that pretty interesting. The guy did end up actually breaking the two hour uh, world record uh, last year. So, um, whether it was legitimate or not, I don't know. I was looking at some stuff debating on the shoes, but that's aside from the point. I found it even within myself. So when I go speak at Toastmasters, they have a little timer that's going, right? And so they do little impromptu speeches. And so I'm still learning it and kind of grabbing the ropes on getting good at this. But right when I hit a minute, my mind goes, oh, okay, you know, you can, you could stop doing that now. You know, you've, you've hit this, this little threshold that you've wanted to reach. Or even if I'm recording these YouTube videos and I look up at the timer, I like to aim for about the five minute mark, right? And so when I reach that five minute mark, then, then it's kind of like, oh, you know, well, you can kind of let off or, you know, you don't have to like keep thinking of ideas and it kind of, it even clouds your thoughts while you're in doing the task. So I'm not looking at it right now. I'm ignoring it, this video, right? It's a new habit that I'm going to start practicing is ignoring it and seeing how much I can really generate without thinking about this. So I think that you'll find that this could be clouding up a lot of your goals in life. You know, maybe you're only setting out to one, run one mile, right? Well, why don't you just run 1.5? Why don't you run two miles? You know what I mean? Up the goal a little bit. Or it could be anything. It could be learning an instrument. It could be, you know, maybe writing a book. Maybe you're only writing one chapter a day. Well, start writing two chapters a day. You know, push yourself a little bit. And really see what you can do with your mind. I believe that most people aren't using their mind to its full potential. So like even lately with myself, I've spent a lot more time contemplating and thinking about ideas that I hadn't really done in the past. And I think that most people leave this brain power unused. See, for me, I've just noticed that it's like, wow, I really do have a lot of potential to come up with more ideas and really good ideas. Like I came up with a bunch of video ideas really quickly, which in the past, it wouldn't have been so easy for me to do that when I've had other YouTube channels. But really dedicating this time to thinking about it and setting the time to do it and not thinking about a limit, right? I'm not sitting there going, oh, well, I got to have five new ideas today. Or I got to have 10 new ideas today. You know, sometimes I'm only going to have one new idea, but sometimes I'm going to have 20. So remove the bar from yourself. Don't have just a limit on what you can do. Maybe you're running. Don't even think about the two miles. Don't record it. Don't look at it. Because even like with myself, when I have a running distance, I know what's three miles and what's not. So when I'm actually out, out here doing my run, I'll already know in my head how far I've ran. Like I, I have a GPS thing. So I know once I hit a certain point that it's two miles, three miles, four miles. And I had just even one day, I ran like over 10 miles straight. And so I wouldn't have expected myself to have that much potential to do that because normally the max I've had was only doing about six miles. So really take a look at what you're doing and try to break out all of those limits that you're imposing on yourself. You know, start setting, start setting the bar a little bit higher or not even looking at it at all. And I think not looking at it at all is really what's going to bring the biggest improvement into your life. So that's what I want you to be thinking about today. Where are you putting limits on yourself in your life? And what kind of goals do you want to reach? So set higher goals for yourself and stop looking while you're doing the task every day. So when you're doing the minute things, stop looking at it. Stop looking at how much time it's taking. Stop looking at the distance. Stop looking at the little bit of information because it's going to slow you from your goal, right? It's just like how I talked about 
it literally deters me. It clogs up my thinking when I'm doing the speech or if I'm running or whatever the case might be, if how far it is, where the goal is. Just do the run and you'll start to notice that you're going to really start breaking out of the goals that you're setting for yourself. And maybe it's not going to be the first time you go and try it or the second time or the third time, right? But once you really break out of the habit of setting a certain limit on yourself on how much you can do and how much you can't do, you're going to find that it's going to be a lot easier for you to get really close to that goal. So anyways, let me know down in the comments below how you guys have been holding yourself back with your goals and let me know what your goals are. And if you could, please leave a like and a subscription on the video if you enjoyed it. Thank you and have a great day.